This video was inspired by one of my students who I teach to sell printables on Etsy. She asked what SEO tool is the best one? If you sell on Etsy, you're probably wondering the same thing. So let's get into it. As Etsy sellers, we know that SEO is an important thing to learn about if you're just getting started on Etsy. And for those that don't know, SEO means search engine optimization. It's kind of an intimidating word to Etsy newbies because it sounds really complicated, but is it really? The short answer is no. However, it can take a little bit of time for you to wrap your head around it if you've never worked with SEO before. In simple terms, SEO is just the keywords people are using to find your products. Yes, it's truly that simple. Now the best SEO tools help you choose the best tags and keywords to put inside your listing descriptions on Etsy. Additionally, these tools have a lot of other added benefits like reviewing your current listings for misspellings, where you rank compared to other Etsy sellers, and a way to see how saturated specific keywords are on Etsy. I've listed a few SEO tools in the description below for you to check out. But to sum up, a few popular ones are Sales Samurai, E-Rank, Etsy Hunt, Everbee, and Marmalade. Now, I wanna be completely upfront with you about the fact that I did not grow my shop using any of these tools. I repeat, I did not look into any of these tools until after I had already reached over 10,000 sales on Etsy. And I'm telling you this because new Etsy sellers get so caught up with SEO tools. And I think the reason for this, like I said before, is they feel intimidated because they don't quite understand what SEO is. Therefore, they're constantly seeking out new SEO tools if their sales aren't booming. The truth, however, is that while SEO is important, SEO does not rank your products on Etsy. Wait, what? Search engine optimization doesn't rank my products on Etsy? That's right. And you can see this if you name one of your products some extremely arbitrary title that no one else is using. Guess what? When you type that weird word into Etsy, your listing will come up at the very top. And that's just because no one else is using that keyword. There's no competition. The truth is SEO makes your products eligible for ranking on Etsy. It puts them in the right pot. So if you aren't ranking on Etsy, is SEO to blame? It's possible, but not the end all be all. The true way to get a higher ranking on Etsy is through your quality score, not your SEO. And your quality score is determined by people liking your products, purchasing your products, and reviewing them. And let's just add this. Those big SEO tools tout that they have the most up-to-date data about the keywords and how they're ranking right now on Etsy. But that's actually not the truth. The truth is Etsy sells a very small set of data that those SEO tools purchase that they can offer you. It's not the full data because Etsy would never do that. That's something to keep in mind. So what Etsy SEO tool is the best? Well, I personally teach my students to use Everbee and E-Rank. However, I don't necessarily think that they're the best. In fact, dare I say you can grow your Etsy shop without using any of these tools? People are gonna be outraged, but I'm just speaking from experience here. If you're just getting started with your shop, remember what really grows your Etsy shop is consistently creating and selling product. My advice is to just do that. Don't waste your time running back and forth between all the SEO tools wondering which one's the best. It will be a total waste of your time. I hope this video was helpful to you and not a waste of your time. If you need help growing or starting your Etsy printable shop, visit atouchofla.com to see how we can work together. I'll see you in the next video.